Hello everyone, my name is Andres and uh, I want to share the dreams that the Lord has given to me. So, uh, in my previous video I shared uh, the word from the Lord that I uh, received in, uh, in a conscious state. Uh, on this video I want to share the dreams. Let us pray and uh, listen what the Lord has to say. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for speaking to us and for, for letting us know what will happen, just as you have uh, promised uh, in, uh, in uh, Gospel of John, that your Spirit will teach us all things and reveal the things to come. Thank you, Jesus, for revealing us the things to come. Help us be prepared for them in your name. Amen. Okay. I saw a dream. An angel was uh, throwing some kind of uh, uh, yeah, piece of thing. At the beginning, it seemed like like a, a big uh, disc uh, at the size of a tire, okay, uh, tire with with the whole wheel, okay. Uh, but uh, but it it doesn't really matter what kind of a, a thing it was. Um, what matters is this this thing flew by me just in this speed. So slowly, and I could, I could, I could watch it, and and from all the sides, and I could, I could react to every single uh, sh change of 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 uh, rotation. Okay, uh, I could react completely because because uh, the 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 disc was so slow. Okay, and then the speed went back to normal and the disc just flew away so quickly that uh, if somebody was there in that traje trajectory he couldn't ex escape and uh, would be hit by it okay and uh, and in that dream uh, Either, uh, yeah, the angel, uh, probably the angel, explains to me that the fact that I have been informed in advance of what is going to happen in future, that, uh, and I can prepare because I am informed, that is uh, as if I could react to things in slow motion. Okay? Just like in movies. Just like in Matrix or whatever. I don't know. These uh, new movies. I haven't watched movies for so for for years. But when I when I was a teenager I watched Matrix and, and uh, uh, yeah he could the, the, the main character could uh, dodge bullets. Okay, normally pe people don't do that, okay, because they can't, but if you know it in advance, you can avoid it, you know in which direction to go, right, and uh, so it was ex uh, uh, explained to me that if I know and I can prepare, that is just like the ability to react to things in uh, as if the things were in slow motion. Okay. Then, right away, the next dream, right after that, without waking up, the next dream was. Uh, Next to my house, there, there was a huge pile of uh, logs that are for uh, 
firewood, okay? Three meter longs, uh, uh, three meter long logs. Huge, huge pile. Uh, maybe up to a thousand of cubic meters, okay? Um, and I've been collecting firewood for quite some time, as much as I could. And, uh, and now the cold and cataclysmic times have come. Okay, and uh, th this happens in the dream. <clears throat> uh, in reality, I don't have that firewood pile, okay, the, uh, yet. <laughs> and uh, so uh, the cold and cataclysmic uh, events uh, have started happening, and me and the community that I have gathered in my house uh, we cut and chop the logs into into small smaller pieces and uh, and we deliver and send uh, and sell them and uh, that's our business how we earn money or how we trade <laughs> uh, in those uh, times okay that was the dream. So, um, please, um, make sure you save some, uh, some firewood. There will be cold times. I know, global warming, yes, yes. That's true, but there will be cold years extremely extremely cold years and therefore there will be famine because the harvests will freeze they will not grow because they will they will just freeze to death um, during night frost will kill the harvests uh, that is my understanding um, from all the prof prophetic words that I have absorbed, let's say. <laughs> um, there was one more um, um Okay, I have not written this down, <laughs> but I remember it. Okay, uh, so <clears throat> the dream was uh, the Lord had warned me to save up some food, so I had started saving up some food. And uh, then and I, I had some some uh, some uh, food sword already, and and then uh, some kind of uh, military threat uh, uh, showed up, and therefore I had to move from where I was, and uh, so I I went from my house to to. Crossroads, where uh, uh, local farmers uh, uh, um, according to a custom, let's say, <laughs> uh, sell their, uh, their vegetables and fruits uh, that they produce, okay? that they harvest that they they come to crossroads and and the clients the local local uh, people uh, know the place and, and and all of them they meet in those uh, crossroads and uh, and there is this line of people wanting to buy food but the the reality is the demand is higher bigger than the offer meaning there is less food than the, the people would be willing to buy. 
So either all the people get some food, but not, not as much as they wanted, or some people get all they want and some people don't get anything. And I look f f for, uh, to this situation from, from a side and uh, I, I was not in the line, okay? Because I had, say, I, I had some reserves at home and uh, I didn't have to experience this kind of uh, situation from, uh, from the perspective of to those people who were in the line, okay? I had peace. They were worried, okay? They were, they were uh, afraid. How will they feed their families? So, uh, and this dream was stopped uh, by my son, <clears throat> who in, in the middle of sleep, he, he's uh, three years old, uh, he shouted, Coats! Coats! <laughs> Meaning, uh, one thing is food, the other thing is warm clothing and firewood. Yeah, because there will be cold times. So, uh, yeah, that's the dream. So, um, I'm happy to share this. Uh, I believe this will be a blessing to some people, at least to some. <laughs> and uh, I thank God uh, for... Uh, for uh, letting us know in advance. That's a huge, huge blessing. Yeah. Just like Joseph in Egypt could prepare in advance, we have to prepare. We have to prepare. Brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, uh, everybody who is watching, even if you are not a Christian and you are watching this, you can prepare. Because those cataclysmic events will occur regardless. They will be worldwide. And I have heard that... Um, I, I didn't receive that prophecy, but I have heard uh, another prophecy uh, from uh, another person... Uh, who was living decades earlier, that uh, there will come a period in this generation, our generation, my generation, your generation, there will come a period when uh, millions of people die from hunger, cold, and sicknesses. Well, we see COVID and... Some people died and some people recovered, but uh, the prophecy was sicknesses, several of them, not one, more. So uh, let us put our trust in the Lord, our big doctor, uh, our... our uh, protector, our shelter, our dad, who knows how to take care of us. And, uh, yeah, God bless you. God bless you. Bye.